Of course, you all heard the saying, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But how about when the first freeze is coming? Of course, then you make fried green tomatoes. I'm Paul Daddy, and you found Paul Daddy's Blind Dog Barbecue. Now it's mid-January where I live on the Texas Gulf Coast, and we have our first freeze on the way, and it's gonna be a hard freeze. So this brings an end to all my fall tomatoes. There's not but one thing to do, and that's to pick all the green tomatoes and fry them up. Man, this is gonna be good. Now after rinsing off the tomatoes, it's time to slice them up. So I cut off the ends and then make the slices about a quarter inch or so thick. Now you can go thicker or you can go thinner, it's up to you. Now the recipe that I'm using, I'm just using it as a guide. So the basic recipe calls for two eggs, half cup of milk, one cup of all-purpose flour, half cup of cornmeal and a half cup of breadcrumbs, two teaspoons of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon black pepper, and one quart of vegetable oil for frying. So I'll start with a half cup of the cornmeal and the breadcrumbs. I'm also gonna be using two teaspoons of Lowry seasoned salt and a quarter teaspoon of the black pepper. You get that all mixed up and then pour it into a larger container. Now take your all-purpose flour and you put that in a separate container. For the wash, you can use buttermilk, but if you're like me and you just don't happen to have buttermilk on hand, that's when you use the whole milk with the two eggs. Now today, I'm using my cast iron skillet, and you want to add just enough oil to cover the bottom, and you want to maybe come up halfway or so up on those tomato slices. But we don't want to cover them up at all, so heat that oil to around 350 to 375. If it starts smoking, then you probably got it too hot. Now here's the drill. We want to dip the tomato slices into flour. You want a thin layer on both sides. And then you get it wet with the egg wash on both sides. And then into the cornmeal and breadcrumbs. And you want that cover on both sides. And now you're going to fry them up. So when it starts turning golden brown on that side you cook it, then you want to flip them over. So just get them golden brown on both sides. And this is an assembly line process. And you're probably going to have to hustle to keep up because they do cook quick. And don't forget to keep that heat adjusted up or down as needed. Now I started with a pretty good sized pile of green tomatoes and the cornmeal breadcrumb mixture started running low. So I freshened it up. I just added in some more cornmeal and I also put in more seasoning. Now at this point, I consider the breadcrumbs optional. So next time I cook them, I probably don't even gonna mess with the breadcrumbs. It'll be flour, egg wash, and then the cornmeal. Fried green tomatoes is what's for lunch and supper too. I like mine served with ketchup because I'm just an old country boy. They are so good. Somebody should probably make a movie about fried green tomatoes. I just happened to have some hamburgers on standby. Now you've really got to try this. It's a real treat to put these fried green tomatoes on your hamburger. Now all you've got to do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and remember that you heard it here at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha, 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 ha.